So the question is, how did you learn or come across each of these tools that you are sharing with us? Also, each book that you reference is super helpful. Did you also read books that were not helpful? I love these questions. Um, the thing is, okay, so I sort of like collected them, the books that I read and the information therein over the course of like 15, 20 years. So this is going to be a little disjointed maybe. The one off the top of my head, First Comes Love, Finding Love and Your Family in the Holy Trinity by Dr. Scott Hahn. That one, my Catholic therapist recommended to me. That's the book that goes into how basically the idea that I share in Filled with Good that we humans were made for paradise and we live in a fallen world instead. So in some way we are all traumatized and addiction for us, food addiction is an effect of that trauma. Now, as for theology of the body books, obviously there's everything by Christopher West. The um, book that I actually first found theology of the body in was um, Percy's Theology of the Body Made Simple. And I like that one because it's really thin. Um, and since I was like taking care of toddler twins at the time, that a thin book was really helpful, but also because it just sort of like, it really is It made simple. It's just straightforward. This is what this means. This is what this means. This is what this means. And this is how it looks in human relationships. Now, the book that I reference a lot, uh, In the Realm of Hungry Ghosts by Dr. Gabor Mate, that, I honestly came across that by scrolling Instagram. Sometimes the algorithm just finds you. <laughs> and it found me. And hey, if my work is going to be helpful to you, in pointing you towards these much bigger minds, then I hope the algorithm finds you too. As for books that weren't so helpful, um, don't consider this anything other than just an honest review. My introduction to intuitive eating was through a Christian book called The Way Down, so Protestant Christian, not Catholic, um, by Gwen Shamblin. And um, I used those principles to lose that first 80 pounds that I talk about in my weight loss story. Um, the reason I don't recommend it is twofold. One is um, it doesn't bring to bear all of the important concepts that all the truths that Catholicism has available to us. And because, um, you know, getting in, you know, giving our gut food over to God is super important, but saying that we need to do it so that other people find us prettier, that I'm not a fan of. So I, I don't really recommend that book, but that's just my honest review. If you've got any other questions, send them my way.